I'm going to change the paper on my drum sander using the power of mathematics. Now if you've seen part 5 of my drum sander construction video you will have seen me put the original belt on which is Abernet Max and I've had a few issues with this stretching a little bit um, not much but it's enough to annoy me and I'm going to try using paper backed sandpaper I would use cloth backed um, but this is really cheap and I can get this locally so I thought I'd give it a go it might not be ideal it might rip I don't know but at least I'll try it now I can't use this as a template for this because it's wider so I'll take you through how you can calculate the correct dimensions for the new belt and I'm going to use toilet rolls to illustrate how. So I've got my three identical toilet rolls and I've cut them in different ways. This one's the original intact one. This one I've cut as the toilet roll is manufactured into its spiral and we can see from this when we unroll it this is the shape of the sandpaper that we're aiming for and we immediately see that this edge here, the tapered edge, is the circumference of the original toilet roll. And we also know that the total area of this is the area of the sandpaper that we need. So if we take our toilet roll, and this time we cut it just straight up the side and open it out, now what we have is we can see a simple way of calculating the total area because it's the width of the, the drum sander times the circumference of the drum sander. And we also know that these two areas are the same. So let's see how that works to get the dimensions out. So we know the circumference is 399 millimetres because I've measured it. You could of course if you know the diameter 127 millimetres that's actually 5 inches you can just multiply it by pi which is uh, 3.14, 159, 265, 358, 9793, 238, 462, 64, 3383, 279, 502, 88. <laughs> it's a party trick of mine, I wasn't reading that. <laughs> yeah, show off. Right, yeah. 127 by pi gives you 399 millimeters. We know the width of the drum is 500 millimeters. So multiplying the width by the circumference gives us the total area of the sandpaper that we need. We know that the width of the paper is 90 millimetres, so if we divide that into the area of the drum, we get the length needed is 2.217 millimetres. 2 metres, 217 millimetres. So let's just consider this a minute. The dotted rectangle here is of length 2.217 along there by 90 wide and that total area is the area we want. But if you think about it that is exactly the same area as the tapered parallelogram we have. You can consider this either by just what you were told at school that all parallelograms with the same height and same base are all the same area or just consider that these two triangles here are the same area and so we can create the shape that we want by removing the triangle at the bottom and sticking it here. So this gives us all that we need to know. We have this length here is our um, 399 millimeter circumference, the width is the width of the sandpaper and the base of our parallelogram is 2.217 meters. So let's go do some cutting. Now if we really want to go to, to town on the mathematics we could use Pythagoras to get the distance along this edge where we've got to take the taper to. But, and if we did it would be 388.7, 389 millimetres. 
but that only really works if this edge is square and here it isn't so it is easier I think just to get the ruler on here and just measure out so that the distance along that edge is 399 which comes to there so I'm just going to draw that in with a lovely blunt pencil great so now we measure 2.2 on 7 from the point where the taper starts so this is the base of our parallelogram and because of limited space I'm just going to measure it in 50 centimeter chunks and knock everything on the floor So having got the uh, side of the parallelogram marked at 2.217 we now go back the way we've come to put the taper on and that is it apart from the cutting <laughs> where are my scissors so let's go fit it this is my clamp that I'm going to use and because I don't want all this thin stuff at the end, I want a, a good area for it to grip, I'm going to cut the end off there. So, that will now sit inside there, and that on top and should grip nicely. So now we just feed the sandpaper on, lined up on that edge. And we have to try and keep this really tight, so I'm going to see how much tension I can get it. I may have to tighten this up a bit once we've got it fitted in use it may it may tighten um, we'll see or rather tighten that end loosen this end so how have we done it's a bit, I've got four clamps this end and it's a bit of a lottery where it finishes up so I have a choice I have one clamp that's pretty much covered here which I'm not sure I'm going to get it in. We'll try. Or we put it in there, we cut, cut this lot off and leave that part of the drum blank, which is kind of what happened last time. Let me see if I can get it in here. Okay, so I don't know whether this is going to work, whether we'll be able to loosen this off enough to get the end under the clamp, because of course the clamp's being covered. But, oh, and. I actually put a crease in the paper, which was one thing I really didn't want to do.
actually been quite lucky actually that seems to tighten quite well but I don't think the paper is tight enough so what I need to do now is just go through a, an exercise to just tighten up the whole belt. You may have noticed the skin cells that I left on here. My hands, I think I've lost my fingerprints. Um, I won't be able to work the uh, fingerprint recognition on my iPhone for several days after doing this. Oh well. I'm just trying to make sure that I've taken up all the slack I can. <laughs> yeah, there's about two millimeters of slack in that. worrying that every time I rub my hand across the, the sandpaper it goes white with skin cells. That's really not very good. Maybe I should have worn gloves. Right, that seems quite tight. So we'll leave it there. You will see this in use in a future video. And that is how you change the sandpaper on a drum sander with mathematics and toilet rolls. <laughs>